It's now my honor and privilege to introduce the Honorable Nellie M. Gorbea, Secretary of State, to certify the role of those duly elected to this chamber and to administer the oath of office. Secretary Gorbea. Thank you, Madam President, and congratulations to all of you senators. It is such a joy to be with you here today. Um, this will actually, it's this bittersweet moment for me because it's actually my last swearing in of all of you. You will have a new Secretary of State next time many of you get hopefully reelected. Um, and, and I have to tell you that it is a special moment for me always um, delivering these, this, this oath because it, it really is a moment of beginnings. And after the time that we've had over the last year, beginnings feel really good and they hopefully will indicate many more new beginnings. Um, uh, Madam President actually uh, did a lot of my remarks for me because I had a, we were on the same wavelength all the way up to the color coordination of our outfits, uh, white and, and purple in celebration of the centennial of women's suffrage and the fact that this is an amazing historic moment for Rhode Island in that 50% of this chamber uh, are women and that our General Assembly is seeing record numbers of people of color, of, of people of different backgrounds and people of different perspectives all coming together uh, to debate, to come up with solutions and to be leaders uh, for our state. So it is uh, with that that I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you for the work that you're about to embark on. Thank you for stepping up and being willing to serve Thank you for, um, for your families, your, your families uh, all being, and I know this is particularly bittersweet for many of you because they're not able to be here in the chamber uh, with all of us. Uh, a big thanks to the families for supporting you as you embark on probably one of the most challenging times in our state's history. But I know that with this kind of coming together of people, of ideas, of backgrounds, of perspectives, we can come up with better policy solutions. And so I'm very hopeful of what this new General Assembly and particularly the Senate will be able to put forward. Um, so with that being said, um, let me read the certification. Sorry. Here we go. Certification of election, role of the Senate. I, Nellie M. Gorbea, Secretary of State, hereby certify the following list of members elected to the Senate in the General Assembly in accordance with the certificate of election filed in this office by the Board of Elections on the 30th day of November 2020, as provided by Section 22-313 of the General Laws of 1956. Mary Ellen Goodwin, Anna B. Quesada, Gail L. Golden, Golden, Dominic J. Ruggiero, Samuel W. Bell, Tiara T. Mack, Frank A. Chicon, Sandra C. Cano, John P. Burke, Walter S. Felag Jr., James A. Seveny, Louis P. De Palma, Don M. Oyer, Valerie J. Lawson, Megan E. Coleman, Jonathan Acosta, Thomas J. Paulino, Cynthia M. Mendez, Ryan W. Pearson, Roger A. Picard, Gordon E. Rogers, Stephen R. Archambault, Jessica De La Cruz, Melissa A. Murray, Frank Lombardo III, Frank S. Lombardi, Hannah M. Gallo, Joshua Miller, Michael J. McCaffrey, Janine Calkin, Kendra Anderson, Cynthia Armour Coyne, Leonidas P. Raptakis, Elaine J. J. Morgan, Bridget G. Valverde, Alana M. DeMario, Virginia Susan Sosnowski, Dennis L. Algier, Now, if you will all please rise and raise your right hand. 
You, being cho chosen to the place of senator in the General Assembly, do solemnly swear that you will be true and faithful to this state of Rhode Island, that you will swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution and laws of this state, and that you will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of your office to the best of your abilities, according to law, so help you God. Congratulations, Senators.